this is my yoga and parachuting page because I think it links to the transformational sort of qualities that I'm looking for in the human and animal relationship to nature as we all sort of strive to be in harmony with nature as well as be ourselves so it's I was looking at these sort of animal poses like this is the scorpion here and it's just it links to how I saw these sort of kaleidoscopic kind of patterns in in these textile experiments that I did and just sort of playing with pattern and these strange formations because I do think it links to a sort of organic animal, human, natural kind of quality like this even feels like the stem or of a of a plant and it's sort of just reaching out to something else. So this is the page. And I tried to capture what I did in my patterns in this, so I'm just sort of trying to recreate the textile deconstructed sample with these yoga poses. And yeah, I was sort of reminded of parachutes from this, it's like seeing a parachute from like a bird's eye view perspective of it. And that's sort of how it goes on to that. And I also thought that uh, this was like someone's legs and the body here. So then that's how I linked it back to yoga in this one. So you can see the, the arms and legs and the body. So it's like this sort of ballooning effect. Perhaps we sort of I'm not sure, but I'm interested in these as patterns and still playing with it. And then to go back to the sort of statuesque poses I saw in these, because I was kind of interested in how horses are exaggerated and how their movements have always been used in sort of war and military. Um, sort of interest in yeah horses as poses and symbols and using that in into this so I'm combining the way the horse's legs are just thrusting out with the parachute and it's still reminding me of the human body um, stretching and yeah this is like a parachute with these people here and it's just yeah playing with it 